How to make image maps responsive? Well, I'm using um, Foundation 4, as you can see there at the top, uh, for my framework. And this here is the image map that I've created. And it also takes away the, this div line equals center thing as well, whereas the validation has uh, decided not to, to use that anymore. And you're always going to get errors. Um, they haven't really come out with anything that's that great for that. So here's, here's another way around it. So here when we uh, find our uh, laptop size or desktop size, everything works. Contact, products, and there's your product page there, and about. There's your about page. So that's all fine. However, when you start to get into the uh, size of, say, tablets, and then there's nothing happens. Well, there is there, actually. Um, but if we go down a bit further, contact doesn't work, products doesn't work, and there's no hyperlinks over them. So how do we get around this problem? Well, I've put in here um, my image map in in there. So there's all the, the image map, the coordinates and everything like that, which, as I've shown, works in laptop size, where I'm on. So there is a way of working around this, and um, that is by using uh, this here. And coffeecup.com uh, have got a really good... Um, the, they've got a great explanation of this here. And you go to the GitHub and everything like that, and there's actually somebody called Matt, Snow, Matt Stowe uh, has done a workaround for this. And I'll put the links up of this here, um, this website. And um, it's quite easy to follow. And what I've done anyway and it is I've just put all the links from GitHub and it's all there. I'll put all the links down for, for everybody. And you just uh, you put these two files in here with your um, other ones that you're working on the same website. So as you can see there, just these two files. There's also a license in README, but they're not really that important. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, now that I've got them files downloaded, I'm going to just copy this, this script here, and you just copy that. And where you put this is just before the end of the body. So there we go. We just put it there and then we just save it. And then we go back into Opera and we just refresh the browser. Okay, so we go right the way down. So we'll go where probably somewhere like a smartphone, and that's as far as I can go on um, Opera here. So you have your contact, and there's your contact page, there's your products, and there's your about. So we'll do this on another browser, and we'll take a, a crow. So there's your, your normal um, uh, laptop size about these all work so we just go down again and there we somewhere like i would think somewhere like a, a samsung or an apple phone and there we have the contact of course the others are not filled in or anything products there's your product page and about there you go so that all works and so that's a great workaround as i say i'll put all the links up and um one other thing is how does it work when it comes to validation? Well, on this here, I've got HTML, beautify HTML code, which I've just done. And so we're going to validate this, see what happens. So there's a validation. There we go. No errors, no ones, no messages. So that all works. So that's how you use image maps. Uh, in responsive web design. So thanks for watching and thanks for listening.